the one sense, we are the sum of our neurons. But um, that making that statement does not capture the complexity of our behavior and the complexity of the interactions within the nervous system. Um, it's like saying that an airplane is the sum of its parts, and it is the sum of its parts, but that's one correct statement, but the parts have to be arranged in certain functional relationships with each other uh, that allow certain purposes to be accomplished and certain functions to be accomplished. And the, similarly, the, the nervous system is, we have to understand the nervous system and understand the human person as not just being the sum of neurons, but being functional interactions that are embodied in the neurons and their interactions. And the human person is the emergent sum of those things. And you can't predict it just by knowledge of the individual machines themselves. I mean, again, this is a big part of learning in humans. I mean, we are all learning from the moment we are born. And as we learn, as we have trial and error experience with the world, both motor, sensory, emotional, our brains change. Our brains physically change. So our interaction with the world becomes physically embodied in our brains. And at one, ex at one level, you can try to understand that by, okay, what is the, what is, how is the brain situated to produce certain uh, reactions given certain sensory stimuli that come in? But another whole way of understanding that is what has been the learning experience of that organism, that person with its environment, with its family, with its schooling, with its environment that has led to the present structure of the brain. And that's a social level of explanation and that's a social level of understanding and that social level is just as valid and just as important and for living our daily lives it's probably more important than the biological, the mechanistic, the neuronal understanding. The neuronal understanding is really important when things go wrong and we'd like to be able to fix the brain. Uh, but the neuronal level of understanding itself will never replace those social levels of understanding. To a scientist it's beautiful to be able to see the relationships between larger levels of understanding, social or organismic, and the neural levels of understanding. It means that the social levels of understanding and the organismic levels of understanding are not just magic. They're not things that we can never understand. We can understand them. And seeing how those social levels are linked to the underlying neural levels is a beautiful thing. It's a very beautiful thing. But we have to understand that when we can understand those neural mechanisms, it doesn't mean that we throw the social level away. We don't at all. It means there are these complementary levels of understanding, and both continue to be important depending on what kind of truth you're looking for in a particular situation.